Welcome back to the My Pro Golfer channel. Jeremy Franks here, coming to you from the beautiful James River Country Club. We've got our 18th hole in the background, the James River, appropriately named, right behind us. And we're out here on our little chipping area. Guys, I had a client, customer, subscriber, Hans, ask me during last week's putter, hey, tell me a little bit about wedges. Well, Hans, this is for you. Hans, the problem with picking wedges is their varieties are massive and it's a matter of what kind of player you are what kind of player you want to be that will help determine um, how what kind of wedges you want to select so uh, I'm gonna do a three-part series today we're just gonna talk about the handicap of a person so in golf we talk a lot about the handicap like what level golfer are you are you somebody that's gonna be a 25 handicap or are you scratch that matters a ton. If you're a higher handicap and you can get a club like this sand wedge from Ping, it's a G710 that matches the specs in the fitting, I'm gonna recommend that you go with the set down to the lowest club that they have available. Because at 25, you're a forgiveness, forgiveness guy or gal, you should play something that makes it easy to make the same shots. So that's something that you need to think about. When you get to the next level, let's say you're 18 to 15, 10 handicap, you can start playing around with the next set. So this is a Ping and a uh, Cleveland. They've got a, a 54 degree here, it's a Glide 3.0. It's a workable club, it's a playable club, but it's got a tremendous amount of forgiveness. I've actually played this in, a, in an event. I also have seen Victor Havlin play the 3.0 glide as well because of the forgiveness and he's going to do different things with his wedges. Cleveland's similar. It's a it's a CBX2. Um, they've got a new version coming out as well, but it's just a little bit more forgiving. You can just see by the size and then the shaft is really important. So wedges is a, is a cr critical piece of how to play golf and how to score. If you're like me and you really like to do a lot of cool shot shapes around the greens, I selected Vokey as my wedge manufacturer because every time I look at doing a wedge uh, program or, or fitting wedges, I, I look, look at what the guys are playing on tour, the gals are playing on tour that they're not getting paid for. And so this is a, uh, let's go, let's find a little SM8 K grind, and then you really get into the details. So if you're like a five, like it maybe seems to be like a nine handicap all the way down to a, uh, to a scratch or better player. This is when wedges are pivotal. And sometimes you might have to choose a wedge at that level based on the playing conditions of the day. So I hope this is helpful for you just starting out, um, picking a wedge brand based on your handicap. More forgiveness, the higher handicap you have. Don't try a lot of tricky shots. Pitch it on the middle of the green, two putt, and get out of there with your five. Don't play, or your bogey. Don't play around with crazy shots. If you see people on tour, open their club face up and hit a flop shot, and you got a sand wedge from Ping that's that big, don't open the wedge up, please. You're gonna thin it over the green. It's not designed to do that. So know the level of player you are before you pick the wedge, and comment below. If you guys have any questions or concerns, thoughts about wedges, I'm here to help. And then we're gonna go more in detail in the next few series, next few weeks of helping Hans pick a wedge. Hans is for you. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Comment below. We'd love to hear all that you have to say and, and want to do as we get into this golf season this season. MyProGolfer24.com coming soon. Subscribe, like, enjoy the day of golf. Bye-bye.